Former Kenya Sevens International Dennis Mbachi has grand hopes of establishing a catering business and he is contemplating hanging up his boots in the near future if his passion for food translates into a steady income. Now, the winger who lifted the lid on the ills bedeviling the Kenya Sevens squad earlier this year says he has no regrets exposing the challenges the players faced. Our very own Bernard Ndong spent a day with a nondescript player, and here's what he had to report. Twenty-eight year old Dennis Ombachi is renowned in the rugby circles for his hard running style and his powerful fans that have left defenders shaking in their boots. Weighing at over 100 kilograms and with blistering pace, Ombachi is the quintessential rugby player. Uh, the first time I had a uh, rugby ball, it was a bit weird. Actually, quite weird. Uh, it took me quite some time to, to understand the game. I was a slow learner. After high school, Lombachi joined Mwamba FC, one of the top rugby clubs in Kenya, where he was mentored by the experienced players. Ombachi, who is ironically nicknamed the Ghost Worker, quickly rose in the ranks from the Mwamba second string side to the senior team. He played in both the 15s as well as the 7s teams and soon caught the eyes of the national selectors. Yeah, 2010 about sports 7s and yeah, it was jittery. The butterflies, I think I had butterflies from game one till game last. But as his rugby profile rose with the national team, it seemed to pay a heavy price on his body as he grappled with one injury after another, which meant he was off the pitch often. So I've had surgery on my knee, I've had surgery on my shoulder. I've broken my collarbone, broken my leg actually, and my ankle at the same time. This actually, uh, that's the worst injury I've had. Took me six, seven months. The winger, who has touched down over 50 times for the national sevens team, opened up on social media about the tribulations the players face. Okay, whatever I said, I said it. I don't. Uh, of course, yeah. I think if there was a time machine and go back, I still. I still say the same thing because it had to be said. I said it. My mother will. My mother will tell you this for sure. I'm not. If if something bothers me that I see in you, I'll tell it as it is. Ombachi's social media accounts have also attracted a new base of fans after he began sharing his other unique skills. Building things, or I will say, destroying things before building them, because all these were. They, were, they existed in other forms before. This shelf, it was actually another shelf that I made a while ago, like three years ago, but I, I didn't like it. it was at, at that point, I was still starting. It was one shelf over here. So from that, I managed to break it down, made this, and made this. Well, the table used to be a bed. Part of it used to be a bed. There used to be another coffee table here. The top used to be an older coffee table, which I inherited from my dad. I was like, mm, this is actually quite good wood and I wouldn't want it to go to waste. So, as you can see, apart from rugby and carpentry, now onto matters of the stomach. Food. One of my biggest passions, both eating and the cooking of the food. The six feet two inches player who has studied economics, political science, sociology, cuts a unique figure as he arranges his ingredients before preparing today's meal. Chicken stir fry with rice. So my passion, my passion for cooking started way back, hanging around my mom in the kitchen, in the farm. So basically growing up, I grew around food, cooking food, planting food, of course. And that's where I learned where to bake my first cake. Because you play professional sports, definitely your diet is slightly different than most people. You have 10 meals in a day. Isn't that a bit uh, costly? I also eat out on the streets quite a lot. Street food for me, I, will call, I won't call it a passion, it's a means to an end because it's ready food, it's good food, it's cheap first of all, that's how I can afford to eat 7 to 10 meals a day. Because if I, I go there and, um, there and let's say they sell chicken necks at, it's usually 3 necks at 20 bob. I'll go down the line, let's say I have them to run for like let's say 20 bob. 
Ombachi has taken his passion for food to another level and has a blog where he gives tips and recommends recipes. He has invested in equipment to chronicle the meal preparation, but is now contemplating going a step further with his passion for food. Actually, I have plans in the pipeline of how to get these from my house into your house, let's say, into your house or wherever you are. Uh, something, let's say, some sort of a catering business, but something different. So, because I can cook anywhere. We can, I love, I love the outdoors, I love hiking. We can go to the bush, like let's say a group of five or ten people, make you guys, oh, we hike fast, create an appetite. That's how I usually do it when I go to the forest and cook there. I've done it more than once before. So I usually hike the trail, five to ten kilometers, come back, enjoy my friend. Thank you. So it's the moment of truth. Let's see. Whether it tastes as good as it looks. Amazing. The flavors, everything, perfect. It's good. Really good, really good. Welcome, my brother. 